Hello, everyone. Thanks for coming. We're going to show clips and everything, but I think just to, to start off, a good starting point would be that you grew up in, in the Ukraine in an area where the school next to you was, was a school for the deaf. You did a short called Deafness yeah. that was very similar to the tribe, almost kind of like a, a launching point for, for the tribe. What has the fascination been about people that are hearing impaired and, and also just silent film in, in general? Uh, in fact, I uh, I think it's, it's 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 a very very frayed style story. When I was a young boy, I'm study in the in the school. Uh, by the way, it's the same school which you saw on on the tribe. They still walking, and people still yeah. And uh, on the opposite side of the road, we have the school. Uh, but we have the deaf boarding school. So and. I see from my childhood how deaf people communicate between each other with with uh, support of the sign language, and for reason I couldn't understood understand sign language. Uh, for me, it looks like a miracle. It looks like this these people have any any highest uh, level of communication. They can do not use in a word, and then can they can. Uh, directly in exchange by feelings and um, emotions, and for me it was really a miracle. And then after after 20 years and after film school and after lot of lot, lot of stories, I decided to to make a modern silent film. In fact, it's a lot of modern si uh, a lot of silent film was shooting in in uh, I mean in the world. For example, uh, we can mention it, the the artist by Magli Hazanzavich who's Academy Award winners as well, Tabu by Gomesh or, or Dr. Pong or n a number of uh, this movie by Mel Brooks, I forgot the title, you know. Silent movie? Yes, yeah, silent movie by Mel Brooks, yeah. But I think all of them, mm. I love all of this movie, of course, very so much, uh, but all of them um, mm, they has, has a different way of storytelling. They, it, it, it's a stylization for, for silent movie. Uh, that the main ch main challenge for me to to make um, an homage in silent movie, but not a stylization about silent movie. I want to recreate the spirit of silent movie. I mean, the silent movie is the childhood of the of the cinema. So, uh, silent movie was really very universal and every people can watch in it in the different countries in the same condition of course they have intertitles but nobody need it in in fact and um, and cinema was was really universal uh, and was really brave i think when we were childhood so it was one of main challenge for me when i make this when i decide to make this film and uh and perhaps uh, Yana can speak on uh, her, her, her interest in acting leading up to the tribe, because I believe that she had aspirations in being a uh, actress before the tribe. Um, so if she could talk about just that growing up. When I was approximately six or seven years of age, this was the first time that I saw the movie Titanic with my mother. We went to the theater and saw it together, and I was captivated by the film. Um, it was beautifully produced, and it gave me the ideas of wanting to become an actress, like, the, like of course, uh, Kate. And I was so interested in becoming an actress like she. So I spoke with my mom and told her that I was interested in becoming an actor in the future. And my mother, of course, looking at me as a deaf child, thought that it might not be a possibility for me because there had yet to been, uh, be many films with deaf actors and actresses in it. So I accepted that for what it was. I continued to grow up. I went to college eventually and uh, studied. Um, I knew that I wanted to become an actress, but there were no opportunities for me to do so. I continued to hunt out opportunities to 
study acting. And as it so happened, I found that there was a film um, that I had a possible opportunity to become a part of, which was, of course, The Tribe. This was a fantastic opportunity of growth for me. And we'll, we'll do a clip right after this, but Miroslav, just speak on the importance of having non-actors in this and, and obviously deaf actors as well. Yes, <clears throat> to, be, to be clear, I am never considered the option uh, to use in the film and uh, the not the, the hearing person because uh, the deaf people, w when deaf people communicate between each other, they they using holes and body, and it's it's a funny. It's, it's like a story about accent. So it's so so complicated to study the sign language for same condition. By the way, I have very. Uh, very interesting screening yesterday in MoMA, and then Q&A, and uh, uh, I know that in American deaf society, deaf actor society, it was one of the main problems that uh, American deaf society, de deaf, soci deaf actor society, uh, so really not satisfied, and then they really not happy that the big studios was involved in hearing actors to the deaf roles. So I hearing about it in London and then yesterday in New York and yeah. But for me, for me I, I, have, I, I have one and only reason. Um, we using the sign language like the way of the belly, like a pantomime, like the theater, theater of Kabuki. That's the reason why some, some, some journalists critics me that I was making an exploited film. But uh, yes, and um, uh, I'm never consider con con consider the other option, and it was not not it was not so easy to find the deaf actors in the special conditions, special ages in Ukraine. And so we have uh, 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 together with my wife, we have a very really crazy and uh, incredible uh, casting. We have very after the. Short film, the deafness, but that you mentioned it, we I have very nice connection with uh, with deaf society of Ukrainian, so in uh, deaf society of Ukraine uh, really support us, and uh, we have an, uh, the casting uh, takes approximately half on the year, uh, the six months, and uh, we have an uh, one audition per two weeks, and between the auditions. We share the information uh, uh, from uh, all all ways that we can, uh, from Ukrainian, Russian, Belarus. By the way, Yana's from Belarus, and especially via social network and and from from uh, any 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 special websites for deaf people. Uh, I must uh, I must tell you that uh, the deaf people is very huge. Uh, very enthusiastic users of social network because they have no borders between uh, we and them in in the social network. So, and uh, uh, in fact, with uh, approximately 300 people was visited to casting, and finally we we find this this brilliant person. I hope. So let's uh, let's watch our first clip. Um, uh, I forgot what it is, what it is, but I think it's best we just show it, right? I don't remember what it, what yeah. it was, but that's a great scene. I'm, <laughs> I'm so happy we showed that scene because that was uh, it. How how do you direct a scene like that? I mean, wh d was what did you rehearse it? And I mean, I, what what kind of direction did you give? Uh, it's really fantastic what you did, but talk talk a bit about how you pulled that scene off. Uh, uh, the funny, uh, in fact, people love the scene, you uh, know, a lot of, but. Uh, when I watch it, I, I always think it's too much choreographer and too much stunt, so maybe it must be more brutal and mo more raw, you know. And anyway, people love it, so. Uh, we should hold the film a little bit different way that, that uh, people usually make the film. I mean, we have it in unprofessional actors, the deaf people, the people, the child from the street as well. Uh, so. We shoot uh, one scene probably per seven or ten days, and in between we have a rehearsal every day for every scene in the film. 
there is sex scene, everything. As well, uh, this scene is a, is a, I mean, this is a punch, it's a, it's a fight. Fight was 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 created. I think is a better stuntman, stunt coordinator in Ukraine, Alexander Filatov. He's he's a genius. I love uh, I like him so much. And um, and yeah, and main group was was uh, make this uh, uh, was rehearsal this scene in the sport room every every day, approximately ten days. So uh, I'm visited every day. Uh, to the end of the of the rehearsal, and see what they make, make some re uh, some remarks, and they change something and and do do the next. So and so uh, yeah, and we do the next. What what happens here? I think it's 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 very universal. Probably you have the same in the United States. Uh, it's like an initiation. It's like a test. Uh, I don't know. I know the test is. Uh, this test was the uh, same test was happens in I don't know in every school in every uh, every prison and uh, in number of special forces for example in Ukraine is Russia and you you must be brave person you must be be cool in the battle of the uh, for example the three punchers yeah it's it not looks like a, a real very violent battle because it's it's, it's a little bit theatrical battle I mean. It's just a test for 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 everybody. So, yeah. The the final version is that from the second day you shot it, the tenth day you shot it. What what version do we see? Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. In fact, we have the one shooting days. I mean. We have a rehearsal, 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 and then when we feel in that everything okay, we uh, order this uh, heavy film equipment and uh, try to get uh, better takes. So, so you use the Ukrainian um, Society of the Deaf to help with research and kind of open the doors to, to the deaf community, yeah. as far as far as I know. Um, what did they think about you doing a story that? you know, is looking at a darker side of the community, the, the, the deaf mafia, where, where, where they like, oh, did, did, was it taking some convincing to get them to support this? Mm. Uh, yes, a little bit scary about that, uh, and a little bit grim is that, oh, it will be the same, like, uh, I want to mention a Russian film by Valery Todorovsky from 90s, I don't know how to pronounce it in English, this title, it called it something like Strana Gluhih, it's something like state of the deaf or country of the deaf. So it's a film about deaf mafia, same like me, but a little bit different. Yeah, and um, so of course th they help us very, very well because uh, as I told when I when it was a short film before, the deafness, so and uh, the deafness was screened in Berlinale International Film Festival. It was very prestigious for Ukraine. And then when we come back with deafness, we make something like premiere inside the uh, deaf culture uh, center in, in Kiev. And so, and uh, yeah, and, and they, they, I mean, they believe me and they, be they, be they believe in film. Of course, a little bit scary, uh, but so. No, finally, I think everything is happy. Let's uh, let, let's look at a, another clip. And that that gets to a certain point where we start seeing more of Yana's character, and if the story, the movie itself, kind of becomes her story a little more than um, I don't want to call him our hero, but the main guy that we we were following. Um, but Yana, I want to know just to, to talk talk a bit about mm -hmm. the experience of of making the film and um, and. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm I'm very fascinated too, just shooting the the abortion scene, which is such a strong strong scene in the whole film. Um, talk a bit about about shooting that scene. Well, I before this a long time ago, I had no experience about really with abortion and my feelings pertaining to abortion. Um, so I had heard of other women's experiences, but of course myself personally had not had any experience with that. So speaking with Miroslav um, about the abortion scene. We had conversations, um, we did research in advance, and I did a lot of um, work analyzing what I might have felt like 
um, in this type of experience and the experiences of women who had actually gone through that. I rehearsed quite a bit, um, did a bunch of research online to find uh, stories of women that had gone through this. Also, uh, in, when it came to the actual film, there is an actress who is conducting the abortion on my character. And we had a lot of dialogue. We practiced what with one another this specific scene. Um, and I also worked closely with the director to bring this scene to an actual hospital. And then we went to the hospital and talked with them through the process of what it is like, what the equipment and the tools that are needed to conduct an abortion are like with people at the hospital. All of this we then brought back, all of this information we brought back into rehearsal. So this was what built the confidence between myself and the other actress who was conducting the abortion on my character. So we formed this trust and this confidence with one another um, with ongoing rehearsals so that I could have that feeling and that connection that, and endow my work with the emotion, uh, the empathy, and um, the feeling that the character would experience during the rehearsal and then also during the actual shooting. When there were mistakes that happened, we had to start back from the beginning and do the scene over and over again every time there was a mistake. Um, it was a very heavy experience, very heavy, emotional, and powerful experience. Um, I certainly cried myself during that actual um, rehearsal and the shooting of the film. Miroslav, did, did, I mean, you, you don't know sign language, right? You no, I know a little bit. Yeah, a few, a few, a few words. Yeah. Oh, I mean, was was there any anxiety of doing this project with not having that kind of intimacy, let's say, with 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 your actors? And uh, in fact, I have not any any special problem or any special differences uh, between the hearing hearing teenagers and uh, deaf teenagers. I mean, of course, they're teenagers, so it, it couldn't be a problem. I mean, they can do uh, sometimes the stupid thing, but uh, so. But some uh, people sometimes ask, tell something special, and I, I really couldn't remember something very special in this way. Yeah, we're using an entrepreneur, of course. An entrepreneur has two obligations. The first obligation, he must translate my direction to actor, but sometimes they understand it without translation, if something gone wrong. And uh, the second obligation, they must uh, check uh, what actors really say on sign language, because so, you know, the, a lot of funny story when actors speak of complete, completely the different different uh, words than, than in film. We mentioned it, the Fritz Lang about it, or I don't know a number of, of, of funny stories. So, no, I, I think every everything will be okay. And uh, I spend a lot of time with this community because when in a casting, so and read a lot of my wife was in touch via via social networks all the time because uh, when we were working on the film and I don't know we have uh, we have the. Uh, a log line, something like that, in the teaser, love and, and hey, do not need translation. So, <laughs> I think we really do not have, do not need a translation for. W will we ever see what you wrote to the actors in some type of script form and some type of book that, if if we were interested in the film and just wanted to know in a little more detail what was actually communicated in the film dialogue-wise, would would we uh, w are we ever going to see that? Uh, yes, I think I think the Draft House picture wh when they release the DVD, they planning to release the DVD together with the, with the script, yeah, and all the people can read the script, can read the text, and think they can miss nothing when they watch the film. <laughs> so we we have one more clip, um, uh, and uh, this is a w one a little more lighthearted, I believe. Any uh, anything you want to say about that scene? Was there any anything that jumps out? Uh, yeah, uh, I try to to, to 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 not give a spoiler. So uh, when people ask me which which uh, which scene is more complicated for you, I must tell you, it's not the sex scene, it's not an abortion scene. 
is a whole line about the immigration and involved with the human traffic to Italy because uh, I have no option to explain it uh, with words as well I think that for every citizen of free world for example from Europe or United States uh, the situation with visas with foreign passports and something like that it will be absolutely not, not possible to understand and it will be absolutely not possible to understand so yeah it's 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 a, it's a scene when they when they get the visas and prepare to to leave the ukraine yeah and so we we we're thinking a lot about how 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 exposed it is because i think Nobody have no one idea how, uh, what does it mean make visa, you know, I mean in internationally, so. What, what has the deaf community thought, thought about the film? Have, have you been able to screen it um, for, for deaf, for deaf uh, audiences? Yeah, uh, in fact, I'm always, I'm always know when the deaf, deaf, deaf viewers in audience, I'm r uh, because they clock in in a different way. We do this, uh, but they do in. So I when I come in on the stage and when I see this, I know the deaf people inside the audience. And I was represent the film in the, I don't know, number of countries in the France, uh, Czech, uh, in LA, by the way, in London, a number of, a uh, lot of, everywhere. In France, yeah, and um, so everything it looks like is the same. People shake the hands, as the signature, make the picture, and the deaf society will love the film. We have the Facebook page, by by the way, it's a little bit advertisement. So and. Um, when when film was selected to the Cannes Film Festival, so nobody watched the film. But the deaf community, I mean international, was accepted film like a big victory of the deaf actors. Because, yeah, of course, the director is the person who can come here, but it's not really um, important. At, uh, I am not sure that a lot of people know what really directors do in film. But, uh, yeah, they accepted it uh, like, like big victory of society because the deaf, deaf actors can play the film, which has an international climate and has something, I don't know, efforts, a lot of attention, the spotlight on community. And I want to tell about the film al already released in Australia and New Zealand and limited release, I think, in the same time. And the Australian TV was make a very, very interesting, uh, was make very, very interesting TV subject. Is it eight minute? a TV subject uh, uh, without without words, it's on silent language, but with subtitles. And they, they invite a deaf, audi de deaf, deaf audience to w watch the, the tribe, and then they ask opinion of viewers and make that this full the subject is opinions of viewers. And I'm, I'm really proud about one of them, which told he, he, this guy, he's told that it's not a film about the deafness. It's uh, it's real cool because it doesn't spoke about the deafness. It it is film about how the human being. I mean, is uh, the 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 film was except the deaf person uh, like like the regular person. Yet, and it's very important. So something like that. Uh, Jana, can you can you tell us what your um, uh, career has been since since the tribe? I, I believe you have an agent. Uh, you can tell me if I'm wrong. But uh, what 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 um, what have you been doing since? Yes, I do have an agent um, in France. I work with an agency there, and I've already received several offers uh, for work in, in the film industry. And I'm hoping to work um, more frequently. And um, we have things coming up and down the pipeline, I hope. I am hoping, of course, that I'll get a chance to uh, be involved in some of these films. Yes, so yes, thank you for that.
spoken like a seasoned professional already. <laughs> Miroslav, my last question, and then I'll open it up to you guys. Um, would you ever do a film like this again? Oh. <laughs> I wanted to make this film, yes, of course. Yes. But, but would, would you do a film like this again? Uh, in fact, I'm not sure is some, but why I think it's I think it's happen happen hap, happiness what's happened with me it's real joy because when I when I make this film it was an experiment of course it was a very pretentious film I think uh, but uh, I have nothing to lose because nobody knows who am I and in case it was wrong film. We just screen it in some festivals and prepare the next one. But uh, everything what happens next, it was really madness. I think because we have a lot of hours, a lot of attention. The film already released in 44 countries, including Singapore, Japan, all around the globe, excluding Portugal and Europe. Uh, but uh, but yeah, and I think it happens before because I I can it's it's it's, it's I didn't really deserve this. Yeah, it's 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 not only yeah deserve uh, me, but uh, probably it's like lu lucky for me uh, that I do I do something new on something new way. So and everything what happens next, it was, it was really surprising. It was really amazing, and in fact, I'm not sure. Uh, maybe it, it was a big problem for me because Hall of Director when they make an uh, first uh, uh, a climate film, then they make an same film in a different way until the end of the m on, on, on the life. But I'm not sure if somebody need this film in some way. So I need to create something new for my, my second film. It could be a problem. <laughs> it's going to be a challenge, I think. Yeah. <laughs> That's for sure to top the difference of this one. But um, uh, I, I hope people have questions. I hope. Please go ahead. Um. Oh. oh, we are in Europe, live in a much different uh, partly more lucky lives than people in the United States and America. Because in the United States and America, you can be, a, I don't know, a big star, you can be a god. But on the other hand, if you have no possibilities to shoot the film, it's nobody care about it. You can die and nobody care about it. But in Europe, especially, I think it's an all European country. When you finish the film school, the government and public fund will come in for you and ask please make the short film please make the full eight feature film I'm joking a little bit of course but it's, 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 it's one of the main difference between uh, of course it's, it's a different situation in Ukraine because it's uh, it's a poor country and uh, so it's not a lot of money and we spent approximately million dollars for this film and um, but of course whole I think biggest part of European film financing, but it called it Ukrainian State Film Agency. It means Ukrainian Films Fund. So it seems like in any European country is the money of taxpayers. It's always so so complicated question. What what is so difficult to direct? I don't know. Uh, Uh, huh? Yeah, of course, I, I remember, yeah, of course. Uh, I, I'm a little bit surprised when, when, when people watch the film because the abortion scene, as everybody mentioned it, the abortion scene, and everybody spoke in abortion scene, but abortion scene, I'm really proud about uh, of this scene because it's, uh, I do it very well, and I think, but I the abortion scene is completely illusion. It's like you go into the circus and I don't know, the dissertator will cut the woman onto parts, so you do not scare it. It's, it's doing the same way, it's everything is a track. 
uh, I mean, I it's everything is illusion. So, but of course, the much more dangerous scene and much more difficult scene, and we are really nervous when we do this scene, and nobody mentioned it. It's, it's the death of the pimp, because we never use an, an any fix effect. It's a real trap, which push the real deaf actor, who's in who who do not stand. Of course, we have a number of stunts in the stunt on the, the driving the truck a number of stunt was working on security of this of this situation but we have seven takes and we 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 are really very nervous when we should descend because it's real dangerous but finally we do it very well so so that actor really went under the truck and the legs we see dangling is that actor or did you have an actor placed under there no it's no, it's not his leg we have a we have a rubber dead body, but unfortunately, just like we'll go outside. It's yeah, it's it's in in fact it's it's it's, it's, it's very well prepared engineering scene. It's very well prepared stunt, but I mean anyway, is a truck, is a winter, and is a deaf person. We understood that nothing nothing uh, will be happen. Everything must be good, but in case something wrong so I I'm scared to think in what can happen so yeah when we develop script we consider a different different uh, ways uh, of the of the storyline but uh, before we start to shoot you know we never considered the uh, as a as uh, other options, I think its film can be completely understandable by um, to in in United States because, in my opinion, it's it's in dramatical construction, the script construction, it looks like completely western. I don't know if the Clint Eastwood come into small village, small city on wild west, meet the wild bunch inside, love the girl of the main gang so and finally poof, 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 so i think it's a classical american movie <laughs> is is our is the main character a hero in your eyes um it's a complicate for me you know thinking about the good or bad person i think it's it's, it's no good person inside the tribe because so, but mentions the, the tribe is you know it's 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 looks like it's it's you know it's it's like society society it's like the society I don't know in in Christians uh, in Christian style in Nietzsche style it's like the society before Christ I mean it's society from completely outside the goodness and evil so they they have no difference between the goodness and uh, evil and everybody he have no dif uh, uh, couldn't understand the difference between goodness and evil so probably they partly in a sense. And of course, I'm following the main character, and uh, and viewers, and the audience follow the main character because we're showing him. And I think the uh, yeah we more or less we support him maybe. Yeah. Um, have the project in development. It's called the Luxembourg. Uh, is uh, is something like neo noir, uh, which happens inside the Chernobyl's exclusion zone. It must be co-production between Norway, France, Germany, and Ukraine. But anyway, it's a cheap film. <laughs> I mean, cheap film is approximately million or more or less, and uh, it must be that yeah. And um, my producer is working on fundraising and financing right now. I developed the script before I'm coming to New York. I spend every three days inside the Chernobyl exclusion zone, uh, and uh, when I finish uh, this nice tour on the United States, I will come back to Chernobyl. And uh, I developed the script, and every if everything will be okay, I really hope that we start to shoot in December 15. Anyone else? 
All right. Well, Miroslav, Yana, thank you so much for talking about thank the tribe. The tribe much. is out. If you haven't seen it, please go see it. And the translators, too, please give it up for them. They did an incredible job. Thanks, everybody.